Hey folks, what I have here is a giant zucchini plant. Well, zucchini slash, oh boy, we gotta get the traps. We have a varmint, get the, we have varmints. All right, so what we have here is, uh, last year I planted some uh, Ford Hook zucchini plants, beautiful deep green uh, zucchinis. And next to it, I had a uh, yellow zucchini plant. Um, and I think what happened is I saved the seeds from that. Even though it's a hybrid, the first uh, generation, you should, should be able to get the same plant. So I had a giant zucchini from the green Ford hook. I saved the seeds, gave some away. I gave some to Bobby at MHP Gardener also. And I figured the first generation should be good. And uh, he left me a note saying when he got the... Uh, Fruit started coming, they were yellow, and I'm like, what? How can that be? It's crazy. So I'm figuring they got cross-pollinated somehow from the from that particular fruit. It was a giant deep green one. It was a hybrid, like I said, but you normally a first generation, even on a hybrid uh, tomato plant, is gonna give you the same product. It's generally after that subsequent uh, generations that it gets messed up, but I'm sure that that Ford Hook dark green veggie uh, you know that that fruit the parents to that or what they use to uh, in the gene pool should not be uh, yellow uh, zucchini so I don't know maybe if someone knows that that can be happen if they can cross pollinate uh, I'm almost sure that that's what happened to that so anyways uh, it's kind of funny I'll show you that those other fruits when I get home the yellow uh, type zucchini but uh, anyways better off to save the uh, better off not to save the hybrid uh, seeds you know just uh, better off to save the heirloom anyways thought that was funny so anyways uh, any input on that would be uh, some good information to know okay so here's a better view of one of those crazy zucchinis, freak zucchinis. Looks more like a yellow squash. I'm almost certain that that was cross-pollinated. I can't see that being in the uh, gene pool for the Ford Hook. Deep green uh, hybrid by Grappy Butt. I could be wrong. Any input uh, would be uh, appreciated. Alright guys, so here's this funky uh, zucchini. Dad, don't get me <laughs> squash. This is the squash that I had picked. It's kind of a lime green. The lighting's kind of poor here, but it's definitely not a dark green fork hood. I, th I think it's called Ford Hood or Fork Hood uh, that I got it from, which is a hybrid. But even if it's a hybrid, the first generation should be dark like the, like the parent. That's my understanding of a tomato anyways. I mean, I don't see why it would be too different from a zucchini and the the mother fruit to this was a huge very dark green fort uh, fort hood I gotta get the exact I'll put it on the screen the exact name of that burpee uh, hybrid that this came from but uh, like I said I had a yellow squash plant directly next to it and I'm pretty sure it got cross pollinated cross pollinated because this has got a lot of yellow to it. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's very lime green and it's got yellow streaks through it. I don't think that their hybrid would have a uh, anything that would be uh, from a yellow squash. So anyways, I'm pretty sure that was uh, a cross uh, pollinated plant fruit that I got these seeds from. So anyway, sorry about that, uh, Bobby. Uh, he got a, I gave him some of those seeds and he, uh, he emailed and said, what kind of seeds were those? He goes, you wrote on the package, it was green, dark green, Ford Hood. And uh, I said, uh, oops, I just noticed at the same time when I got his email that they were coming out all yellow and green. Like this, mostly uh, yellow, but they're still good eating. Uh, they're still good eating, pick them when they're small. If you let them get big, just like the yellow squash, they're uh, really hollow on the inside. So if you, if you pick them small like this, they're still good, so not all is lost. But you might not want to uh, 
you know, save the seeds from a, from a hybrid. <laughs> Anyways, anyone, uh, if anyone has some input, uh, let me know about it. Cool, so uh, that's it. The crazy uh, squash caper will hopefully be solved soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Ciao. Thanks for watching.